Hey guys, welcome back. I'm excited for this one. Um, today we're going to be making a, a buffalo chicken shotgun shell. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our inside filling mixed. Um, I got about, it was like two chicken breasts that we shredded and then I chopped finely um, after we boiled it. And then I have uh, one package of softened cream cheese that I've combined in the bowl here. And then we're going to add some buffalo sauce and we're going to mix it all together. Just eyeing how much. And then we're going to hand mix it all together. Incorporate everything really good. All right, and there we go. It will look just like that. Okay, so we've loaded our filling into here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fill all the shells. Um, start with this first one. You put your finger back here and cap it. Then we should be able to shoot the filling inside. All right, and then I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these by myself and then we'll be back. Okay, so now that we've got them all filled, we're going to start by wrapping a piece of bacon around all of them. Um, I'll show you how to do one and then we'll do the rest on my own. Okay, there we go. We got them wrapped in bacon. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this buffalo blue seasoning on top for a little texture. Then I'm going to put these in the fridge for about three, four hours until we're ready to put them on. Um, just so the uh, cheese can kind of start to soften the shell a little bit so it cooks through all the way. Um, if you can excuse the uh, chickens out there, they're going off. They want some as well even though they don't know it's chicken on the inside. Anyways, we'll be back. Okay, so we got the green egg heated up to a 300. Um, so now we're gonna put the shotgun shells on for about 45 minutes. All right, now we're gonna let them go for 45 minutes and we'll check them and see if we can sauce them. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and brush on some buffalo sauce and then let them go for another 15 minutes. Okay, and then we'll check them again in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 more minutes. Go ahead and pull these off. Okay, so there we go. They've cooled down a bunch. Um, so, you know, you can just kind of, you know, there's different ways you can do it. You know, we could have put some uh, cheddar cheese in with the mix, um, just to your liking. Um, you can dip them in ranch. Um, anyways, they were fun to make. Uh, saw them on the internet the other day, so I wanted to give them a try. Uh, we appreciate you uh, watching, so if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe. Um, hit the like and the bell notification. So I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. We're slowly climbing. Uh, we're almost up over 300, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. So let's give it a try. You can smell the buffalo sauce. Still a little warm. Oh man. Now that's the stuff. You can taste the chicken, the creaminess of the cr cream cheese, uh, the buffalo sauce, there's a little bit of spice to it. Um, anyways, go ahead and give you give these a try. And we'll see you next time. Bye.